ring fencing is the most important thing in the oil industry, other than meters at the pump or capping interest rates. It has been the talk in Guyana by the Kaicho News from the very first day we found oil. And it seems as if it's slipping people's mind as to what ring fencing really means in the oil industry. And I want to take a, a minute out to explain to you people visually so you can understand what ring fencing really means to our pockets and to that oil out there. According to last year financial report of ExxonMobil, in Lisa 1 and Lisa 2, they made $10 billion. Let me show you. $10 billion. This is 10. 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 was supposed to be for Guyana and 5 supposed to be for Exxon Mobil in a half and a half business. What happened? Exxon took 1 billion and give Guyana 1 billion. This 8 billion that remain here, 1, 2, 3, 4, that belongs to Guyana, 4, and this 4 belongs to Exxon, they took this money and placed it on other projects going on here. Now, we are getting 50% here, 50% here, plus 2% here, and 2% royalty here. They took our 4 billion and put it in the third project. So four from Exxon and four from Guyana. What that makes us? Investors. Am I correct? Our money invests here, four million. But we are still getting 2% and 50%. How on earth this can be fair? How can this be right? Now, let me go a little further. When Exxon, this 8 billion here, Exxon is recovering that money and put it in their pocket, Guyana gets nothing out of that. Imagine you have 4 billion here and you get nothing. Exxon receiving, taking back this out of cost oil and put it in their pocket. All you're getting is your 2% and your 50% after. After. This is done. Now, here the other trick in it. This 8 million, Guyana is paying interest on. So, we are paying interest on our own money getting nothing out of. And this here, this explanation I give you, will continue from project to project, one after the other, all because of ring fencing. This is what they're doing here to us. We're supposed to be investors because every year our money is going from project to project. Our profits is going from project to project. And what you're hearing from John Dale? He's saying that more projects will bring more revenue. He's correct. He is correct. If you're, if you're getting revenue from one project and you put another project and you put another project, of course, on the tree, is more revenue. But what he's not telling us, what he's deceiving us with, is our profits yearly are moving out of our pockets into Exxon pockets, like I said, and we are paying interest on our money, and we are not getting a cent, a blind cent more on any one of them. You get me clear? Am I clear? And this will go on, on, right now we have five projects. This will go on from project to project to project to project. And he's going to grant the sixth oil project in which every year 
more billions will be coming out to further go into other projects. Christopher Ram, myself, many others, is saying if we are going to forego billions into other ongoing projects, we are actually investors. But the way it is structured, Exxon and John Bell, they are structuring this thing, we are now we are getting nothing. And guess what? Norton, on the other hand, is still weighing the pros and cons of ring fencing here. This is what is going on in this country, people. Ring fence, ring fence, ring fence. This whole country should come to a standstill. If not, you will get nothing out of that oil. Have a good day.